there's a queue for EU membership, and an independent Scotland would be right at the back of it, or so this often repeated myth goes. However, that's just not how the EU works. The queue, much like Ruth Davidson's friendship with Boris Johnson, just doesn't exist. The fact is that if you meet the requirements to join, then you can. And it's not the case that only one country can be in the process of joining at any time. Instead, each country's application moves forward independently. It's not like waiting in a shop for your turn to arrive. So while other countries are in the process of meeting the requirements to join, that would have no effect on Scotland. And in the words of the European Parliament's chief Brexit negotiator, Guy Verhofstadt, it's a simple fact that there is no big obstacle for independent Scotland seeking accession. And it's not just Guy. A multitude of voices across the EU have dismissed the Q claim, while Fabian Zelief of the European Policy Centre went as far as to say that a newly sovereign Scotland being knocked back by the EU would be inconceivable. Even Lord Kerr, who wrote Article 50, said claims around membership problems were in fact balls. It's not like there's been a lack of goodwill sent our way by Europe's politicians either. Just recently, Dutch MEP Esther de Lange, the deputy leader of the largest party in the European Parliament, said that she'd support a bid by the fully autonomous Holyrood, telling us on the National, we would be more than ready to join as we would meet the EU's requirements. So not only is the queue to join the EU completely fabricated, they also kind of like us there. Meaning this myth is officially debunked. There's no queue to join the EU, but there are requirements that need to be met. Scotland already meets those requirements though. While other countries may also be working toward joining the EU, that has no effect on us. And European leaders know that Scotland voted to remain, and that we're leaving against our will. 